Hello guys, so welcome back to another vlog. And so for today's video, we will be talking about the conversion of 220 volts 3 phase, which we will be able to connect it into a 440 volts 3 phase. So in this video, I'm going to give you or show you an example of an actual application wherein I applied it into a simple deck machineries, which is called the Rusty Bus. So the vessel ordered a rusty bus and the specifications that we have requested is 440 volts three phase because the service outlet that you will be having mostly on deck are 440 volts three phase because of the reefer connections and the available 220 volts on board is just a single phase but the shipper gave us a 220 volts three phase i know this is just a simple uh, equipment but i think it will be a general application if you are going to use this important knowledge about the y and delta connections so come and join me in this new learning You might be asked by someone or this is also part of the ETO exams that I had before when they had when they asked me about uh, the conversion of Y to Delta and the computation but in this video I am going to show you only a simple um, explanation on to Y Delta in terms of voltage and I will not go much into details of this one so the vessel has only two service outlet i want the first one is a 220 volts single phase and the second one is 440 volts three phase and the equipment is 220 volts three phase and i will convert the 220 volts three phase into a 440 volts three phase and i know this is just a basic knowledge for the experts they will know it already but for the sake of showing you the actual application and if it will work really this video is what you are looking for so let's start converting this piece of equipment hello guys so we have this equipment called rusty bus okay and i will put it here this is a deck equipment so um, this is a deck equipment and the problem is that this is the specification of this model the input is three phase 220 50 to 60 hertz so if it is a three phase so you have four wires uh, one is for the ground and then the three wires for the th three phase and, and if we are talking about the 220 we only have single phase okay we only have two wires that can be connected so there's no other information written on the equipment so let's open the terminal box. So this is the connection of the motor. The question is, or my question is, can we connect this 220 motor to the 440? three phase because we only have 220 single phase on board and if yes what should we do so that we can connect this 
equipment, piece of equipment to our 443 phase. Okay, so to understand it further, I'm going to give you an illustration about our electric motor. So, as you can see, we have this terminal box on the motor and it has these terminals. And the connections is like this. And the taggings will be U1, V1. W1 and this could be the let's say the V2 and then this will be the W2 and this is the U2 and these connections your input will be coming from this and this connection is what we call the delta connections how is it it is like this So, this will be your U1, U2, and then the W1, W2, and then your V1, and then V2. So, this is the delta connections. As you can see, if you have a 220 volts 3 phase, then this will be 220 volts. And then this is 220 volts going directly to this winding for the motors and this is 220 volts. So let's not go much deeper into the into the Y delta connections but this is just as an overview because if the set 220 it will pass onto the winding and then the 220 will pass into this winding and then 220 will be passing onto this winding so you have a three phase 220 and this is the current setup that we have onto this motor okay so the idea is we have a 440 volts supply on the vessel with a three phase so the current connections of the motors i am going to change these connections to be able to use the 440 volts and how are we going to do that i will convert the delta connections into y connections so how i will explain it to you again how it will be possible so what i'm going to do is on the terminal box This will be your U1, V1, W1, and then this will be your V2, W2, and U2. Okay, we will remove the plates and we will connect it onto these two terminals. So we will be having a Y connections. So to convert it, it will be like this. Okay, so you have the, let's say this will be your U1, U2, V1, V2, W1, and W2, which is this node will be this red node, right? So they are all have in the, this common point. So how will be, it will be possible to have a 440 volts three phase now into our system which we can connect now the electric motor it's just simple so this is 220 and 220 volts the current ratings for the electric motor and if the 440 uh, three phase will be passing this will be only on the series like 220 as we all know if it is on series the voltage will be both uh, you will just add up the voltage so if you have 220 and 220 the passing of the current or the voltage will be this way so 220 plus 220 it will be a 440 volts it will also be the same onto the top one as you have 220 and 220 volts 
it will be passing this is again not much into a technical i am just showing you the overview why is it possible 220 and 220 so your rst so so your rst can now the, the three phase can now accommodate the vessel supply of 440 onto our electric motor because we divide the uh, voltage that will be passing onto the motor because we change the y connections that is just how simple it is so we will apply now this one into the electric motor and we will test the motor for you to be able to know or see what will be the outcome of our conversion so this connection is in delta connection so in order for us to connect this into the 440 three phase then we need to connect it in y connection how to do that we need to transfer these connectors into the v2 u2 and w2 Ah, I convert ko. Ah, ko par 40. After changing the connections on the terminal box, then I also change the power plug as we need the power plug this type for the 440 outlet and then I call the chief officer and the deck guys to test the equipment if it will work into our 440 volts supply on chief As you can see, the equipment is now working and it is being supplied from our vessel at 440 volts 3 phase. Okay, Jeff. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and this is your Lucky Jake and see you on my next vlog. Thank you.